You know, I um, have to make a confession. I am a complete and other dumbass. I was stupid for starting a business versus buying crypto. I am stupid for spending $200,000 on two cars that was generated from my business. That is stupid. I am stupid for teaching people that if you are of moderate income, <clears throat> that buying crypto more than likely is not gonna be in your best interest. I am stupid for creating a business that in 2019, when I had a heart attack, provided cash, and I didn't work for five months. I am stupid for building that. See, I am stupid for not being a follower. I don't care what Elon Musk or any other billionaire does because I understand the game that they're playing. I am stupid for creating these videos and putting it out here. I am stupid for having a Google, you could Google my track record. You can actually see what I've been doing for the last 10 years. Unlike some people who have the hoot spa to say I was stupid for buying a Porsche in the BMW and I should have invested that money in Bitcoin. See. That is very telling because one of the things I understand is I'm a doer, I'm a dreamer, I'm a creator. And I had two businesses before I came here to YouTube. So I know how to make money. And I am stupid for teaching you guys how to make money. Essentially, what we should all do is buy Bitcoin. <clears throat> we should not start businesses. We shouldn't buy fancy cars. We should buy Bitcoin and allow the price of Bitcoin to be dictated by literally a handful of whales. That's what we should do. <clears throat> I have a thesis <clears throat> that if we were to look into the finances of the two individuals that called me stupid, for buying a Porsche and a BMW, even though they are Omni and the Hellcat, Richard Fain, The Stradman, Tall Guy Reviews, uh, Mr. Organic, there are several documented cases of YouTubers buying these fancy cars and making millions. But when you're dealing with someone who is ignorant, who is so consumed by crypto. It, let, let's get this straight. I don't hate crypto. I hate the religious fin fever that's around crypto that would call someone who, from me, just looking at who is way less successful than me financially to call what I am doing stupid. I have an assumption that both of those individuals don't even have a $200,000 net worth combined. But that's what's sitting in my garage right now. That's just one of my assets. But I am stupid. I am so stupid for trying to teach people the truth. I am stupid. And you know, th th this, this is so funny because I was having a conversation with a good friend and you know, we were both in a similar place a few years ago about not stunning. You know, when I first came to YouTube, I wouldn't stun, I wouldn't do any of that. And you know, I am stupid for commit to creating a YouTube ad without the Porsche. And then I created a YouTube ad with the Porsche and my view rate went up 100%. I went from 22% to 44% because of that Porsche but I'm stupid for buying a Porsche. I am stupid for understanding how YouTube works. I am just stupid. I should follow people who don't have my level of success. I've got not one, two YouTube channels that are more successful than their one YouTube channel, but I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Parts of me feels that there's a little jealousy 
in parts of me feel that there is we were to peer into this person's finances because see i'm very transparent with you guys you know i pay myself three hundred and sixty thousand dollars a year for my company you know how much i pay in taxes you know how much is in my personal bank account uh i am going to not show what's in my corporate account because every time i do that i literally get 30 to 50 people asking me for money so i'm not doing that Every time I've done that, I've just been bombarded with all these requests to be an investor in someone's um, project. So I'm not doing that. But I'm very transparent. You know what I'm doing. You know how I'm doing it. And I tell you this. And but I'm stupid for buying a Porsche. And I'm stupid for buying a BMW and I'm stupid for paying cash. Hold on a second. I got the titles to my cars. You know how many Americans have the titles to their cars? Not very many. But I am stupid for paying cash. I am stupid for not buying Bitcoin. You know, just as I sit here and I think about this, me and my sheer stupidity from nameless individuals with no track record that you can Google. That's funny. That's hilarious. And it's been a while since I've been attacked like that because here's the thing. If you are a person who's making 33, 40,000, like I, I will make a confession. I have a little bit of Bitcoin. I completely forgot about it. And it ain't a lot. I think its current value is 750 bucks. I mean, it is not a lot of Bitcoin. And I found that the other day. And that represents where the average person is with Bitcoin. Because of its cost basis, you can't buy a whole Bitcoin. You can't buy a whole Bitcoin. Unless you do something stupid like me, like maybe mortgage your house or put it on a credit card or take out a loan. Those are financially stupid moves to buy Bitcoin. So essentially the average person, and this is something that I consistently ask when I get these questions, how much money has Bitcoin made you? And I never get a response. I will say shout out to Mike Rizzi who came with some receipts. Shout out to Mike Rizzi. And it's first person to come with some receipts in like 12 years. So a lot of people speak in percentages because it hides under performance. Like, don't tell me you, you're up 350% on a $200 investment. That, that is nothing to write home about. And this is what people consistently do. And one of the things, because I'm stupid, I'm an idiot for creating a business that, you know, I'm stupid for getting this house, million dollar house in this neighborhood. I'm stupid. I should be living in a little apartment and I should be putting all of my money in Bitcoin. Every last bit of money in Bitcoin versus creating a business that generates cash. Like this weekend, I was sick as a dog. I was really, really sick. I didn't do any work. I pretty much laid in bed Saturday and Sunday and I'm feeling a little bit better today. While I was sick, laying in bed, I made $8,000. But that's stupid to create a business when you're down and you're sick that makes you money. That's just stupid. We should all invest in Bitcoin. Forget about creating a business that creates consistent cash. That's just dumb. That's just dumb. You should be in a Bitcoin. You should be a follower. You should be one of these people who has a hook in their nose, who's just listening and being manipulated by these whales. Forget about being self-directed. For, forget about that. Forget about building a business. And also, I have a feeling that both those individuals could not buy one of the cars that I bought last year cash i don't think they could do that 
which makes me feel there's, there's a little bit of jealousy because I can do things that most people can't do. And I've come to understand that this brings out a lot of stuff because my thesis on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is not going to change. My thesis is if you're making $33,000 a year or less, you don't have enough economic firepower to get enough cryptocurrency to really see it appreciate. You're just not in a position to really win with cryptocurrency. If you're making $33,000 a year or less, and statistically, half of the country, there's 160 million people in the workplace, and 80 million make $33,000 a year or less. And then when you move it up to 60,000, 75% of the country makes less than 60,000. So when you, you, you dive into the numbers, people don't have the money to play that game. They just don't. But you've got people out here who would lead you into a burning house. Have you trying to play a game that you can't play because the odds are against you from jump. If you're making $33,000 a year or less, you would be better off starting a service business that would put an additional six to $12,000 in your pocket in a year versus investing in Bitcoin. That is my thesis. And you, you're not gonna change my mind. You wanna know why you're not gonna change my mind? We talking about an, an appreciating asset versus spendable cash. I spent 200K last year on two cars and I had that money back in four weeks. Bitcoin does not do that for you. And essentially I found it funny that Elon Musk said people were going to spend Bitcoin to buy Tesla. Here's the thing. Everyone who buys Bitcoin is hoping that it appreciates, which means they're going to hold Bitcoin. They're not going to spend it. You could take the crypto, you could take the currency part out of cryptocurrency for Bitcoin. People are not spending it. I remember seeing this article where this guy bought a pizza with Bitcoin and they said it was the $2 million pizza. So essentially people who were holding bit, buying Bitcoin, they're not going to use it as cryptocurrency. They're not going to spend it. So I thought that was funny. Like, yeah, until we get to a point where cryptocurrency levels out and it doesn't have these wild erratic spirit, uh, peaks and valleys and lows, uh, people are not going to spend it. But I'm just doing this message to let you know how stupid I am for buying a Porsche and a BMW, how stupid I am for buying a depreciating asset, how stupid I am for creating a business that puts cash money in my pocket, even when I'm sick versus buying Bitcoin. See, that's where all the smart money is. The smart money is buying Bitcoin. So these people, smart money, they can't pay cash for their car. They have to finance their car. This is, this, this is smart money. Um, they're more than likely have debt. Once again, this is the smart money. And the, the smart money is because they're buying Bitcoin. That makes them financially smart because they're buying Bitcoin. So they can't pay cash for their car. They're loaded up with debt and they don't have cash flow. But they're smart because they're buying Bitcoin but I am stupid because I have a business that creates cash for me even when I'm sick. Huh. I guess I'm just a big old dumbass. So ladies and gentlemen, be careful who you listen to because if you're listening to someone who's running me down because they can't do what I'm doing, be, look at, look at how they live. Look at the receipts. I'm all about the receipts. I put up receipts. You know what you're getting from me. But these other people, what do you know about them? Have they been financially transparent? Have they put up their W-2? Have they put up their pay stub? Have, do you know how much money these people are really working with? Or they're just, you know, this is YouTube. And frequently, let's talk about the OnlyFans craze. At one point, there were all these girls that were talking about how to create OnlyFans 
pages and not get naked and these videos were doing really really well I went back and all these girls who were doing these videos talking about how great OnlyFans were most of them have taken down their OnlyFans page you want to know why because they're not making money but people come to YouTube to make these videos because these videos put money in their pocket not necessarily money in your pocket not necessarily money in your pocket but money in their pocket and so next time you see a video of someone using my name <laughs> talking junk look at this person and ask a few questions has this person provided any receipts has this person f provided any financial transparency because this is a common tactic to use a bigger YouTuber's name to grow your channel because you can't do it on your own ability. And this is something that I have refused to do. I don't go after people on YouTube. I don't, I just don't do it. I find it unsavory. I find it distasteful. But there are people who do this and part of this, because essentially anything I did in that, anything I said in that Elon Musk video was 100% true. Elon Musk has risked less than a percent of his total net worth and less than a percent of Tesla's total net worth. Less than a percent. So even if Bitcoin was to crash, he would not be financially harmed. That was the thesis of that video. That was the thesis. And once again, if you feel that you can play billionaire reindeer games, you could go ahead and you know, if you're investing in Bitcoin from your cash position, you're not taking out loans, you're not using credit cards. That's a little different than, because like I said, uh, I'm a person that doesn't like debt. And this is why I spent 200K on some cars. And I actually spent more money than that because I got some nice rims and some other things because I'm just a big old dumbass. And you know, years and years and years of seeing YouTubers make a lot of money from fancy cars, because this, this person was like, how does he make money with cars? The ignorance of the financially unsophisticated never fails to boggle my mind. Because I am a skilled practitioner and I'm about to toot my own horn. From a business standpoint, from setting up corporations to running corporations to creating products and creating services, there are very few people who can touch me on YouTube. Very, very few people. I was having a conversation with a, a good friend and he's going to buy himself an Aston Martin. He's like, you know, the stun works. I'm about to stunt on these. I'm about to stunt on these motherfuckers. I'm about to stunt. Because essentially, you know, when I was, because I'm running an ad right now and I'm testing it. And for those of you in the corporate toolbox, I, I'll be talking about that because there's gonna be more information coming in the YouTube ads course. Um, I noticed that when I stunt, I get more attention. And this is a valid business doctrine. Unless you can get someone's attention, you can't sell to them for the person who's trying to figure out how I'm gonna make money with these cars. Uh, essentially those eight sales that came this the eight thousand dollars this weekend came from the cars but hey I'm a dumbass I don't know what I'm doing I mean I just had a heart attack didn't lose nothing I, I, I've just been in business two decades I don't know nothing because I'm not doing the hip the new the seductive the sexy Bitcoin or cryptocurrency and I'm about to say it, I'm about to keep it a buck in these internet streets. Most of you are not gonna make a lot of money from cryptocurrency, the majority of you. The majority of you are not gonna make a lot of money from cryptocurrency. You once again, depending upon your income is a lever, and I talk about this on Savage Finance. If you're making 350,000 a year and you can deploy 100K into your investments, your investments are gonna grow rapidly because your income is such a big lever. But if you're making 30, 40,000 and you're only investing two or 3,000 a year, guess what? 
Uh, someone commented on Savage Finance and talked about that. He was like, you know, before I got in the investment world, I didn't realize how much income, how important income was. And I'm seeing that people with the larger incomes have the better investments, the Elon Musk of the world. And all of these folks, you know, were, hey, Glendon, you know, it ain't too late for you to change your mind. And I, I asked this person a question. It's like, how much money has Bitcoin made you? No response. This is the response I get when I ask this question. Why, I'm a dumbass for not abandoning what I'm doing and getting out of this big old house, 5,000 square feet where I live by myself. I should get rid of the house. I should get rid of the cars and I should take all that money and put it in Bitcoin and sit and wait patiently while it goes up and hopefully cash out at some point in the future versus being self-directed, starting a business, and making more cash than these two individuals make in a year in a month. I, I guess I should just do that. I should be a follower. I should not be self-directed. I should just be a follower following after people who, are, who have not shown any level of success. You know, once again, and this is, this is one of the things, I'm a YouTuber, I've been a YouTuber for 11 years, going on 12. I know what YouTubers do. I know what YouTubers do. And one of the reasons that I think Savage Finance has such a loyal following, is I, I'm not gonna tell you anything that's gonna hurt you. Me telling you that you should start a service business versus buying Bitcoin, you're not gonna lose any money. But you could buy Bitcoin and many people have come in on my live streams. It's like, man, I didn't listen to you and I lost my butt. I'm not gonna give you advice that's gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna give you advice that's gonna make you lose money. Because I have a conscience. I actually like being able to sleep at night. I actually love the fact that when I get this message or email from someone like, man, I've been listening to you for years. I finally took your advice and it really worked out well. I love that. And I'm not gonna get that if I become a follower. Me being a dumbass again, I should become a follower. Like I said, I should get rid of this house, I should get rid of the Porsche, I should get rid of the BMW, move into an apartment, invest all my money in Bitcoin, and hope and pray that it does well. Versus being a self-directed person that's creating businesses that makes money every month. That is dumb. That's just dumb. I should be like them, buying Bitcoin, and talking all this cryptocurrency stuff because when i ask these questions like how much money i never get an answer because you know bitcoin is very trendy it's very exciting i don't care if it gets to a hundred thousand dollars a coin you want to know why i don't care because it's not going to impact my money what bitcoin does doesn't impact what i do it doesn't impact what i do at all i don't care and i also know that only literally a handful of people, uh, a friend that was talking to this weekend, he spent like 12,000 on cryptocurrency and he's just holding. He hasn't bought any more, he's just holding. But my friend has a business that does seven figures a year. And he's like, you know, if you're gonna buy Bitcoin and then you're gonna buy and sell, he said, more than likely you're gonna lose. You know, just buy it and hold on to it and just hope it appreciates. And he's only risked a very small, like 12,000 from someone that did 2 million in revenue last year. Very Elon Musk is. Very Elon. Because you got people out here betting the farm on crypto. You wanna know why? Because they can't start a business that generates cash. That's why they're doing it. That's why they're hoping and praying and holding on to dear life, hoping that this thing becomes something bigger. And it's kind of funny because I'm stupid for buying a Porsche. I am stupid because well, let, let's have this conversation. Life is meant to be enjoyed. And if you have to do everything in your life from a financial standpoint, I think your life sucks. Like when I go on vacation, I'll be buying stuff in the hotel gift shop. I don't care because I'm going to have fun. So one of the things I teach is you should manage your money correctly, but you should also enjoy life. And this whole notion of you can't blow some money over here because you know it's a depreciating asset. 
That tells me a lot about that person's life. Because typically, I teach abundance. So yeah, you know, I spent $200,000 on two cars. And yeah, these two cars are gonna make me money. They're gonna make me money. But let's say the cars didn't make me money. And I bought them for pure pleasure. Based upon the income I make, that's okay. But based upon people who don't have my level of success, who have not shown one receipt, that's stupid. That's stupid. So if you want to join the ranks of the stupid, go below and enroll in the corporate toolbox where I will teach you how to be stupid, create a holding company, create uh, operating companies, make them tax efficient, build business credit, do all this stupid stuff. You know, if you're stupid like me and you, you like rather see cash money every month versus buying an asset and hoping that it appreciates, if you wanna be stupid like me and you want to go ahead and build something and be in control of your destiny, Go ahead and get in the corporate toolbox so you can be stupid like me. That's all I got for you guys. I'll see you in the next one.